stray kids. These are elongated or tube-like cells with thick and lignified walls and tapering ends. These are dead and are without protoplasm. The inner layers of the cell walls have thickening which vary in form. In flowering plants, tracheids and vessels are the main water transporting elements. Vessels It is a long cylindrical tube-like structure made up of many cells called vessel members, each with lignified walls and a large central cavity. The vessel cells are also devoid of protoplasm. Vessel members are interconnected through perforations in their common walls. The presence of vessels is a characteristic feature of angiosperms. Xylem fibers. These have highly thickened walls and obliterated central humans. These may either be septate or aseptate. Xylem parenchyma. These cells are living and thin walled, and their cell walls are made up of cellulose. They store food materials in the form of starch or fat and other substances like tannins. The radial conduction of water takes place by the ray parenchymatous cells. Primary xylem. It is of two types protoxylem and metaxylem. The first formed primary xylem elements are called protoxylem and the later formed primary xylem is called metaxylem. In stems, the protoxylem lies towards the center pith and the metaxylem lies towards the periphery of the organ. This type of primary xylem is called endarch. In roots, the protoxylem lies towards periphery and metaxylem lies towards the center. Such arrangement of primary xylem is called exarch. B. Phloem transports food materials, usually from leaves to other parts of the plant. Phloem in angiosperms is composed of the following elements. Sieve tube elements, companion cells, phloem parenchyma, and phloem fibers. Gymnosperms have albuminous cells and sieve cells. They lack sieve tubes and companion cells. Sieve tube elements. These are also long tube-like structures arranged longitudinally and are associated with the companion cells. Their end walls are perforated in a sieve-like manner to form the sieve plates. A mature sieve element possesses a peripheral cytoplasm and a large vacuole but lacks a nucleus. The functions of sieve tubes are controlled by the nucleus of companion cells. Companion cells. These are specialized parenchymata cells which are closely associated with sieve tube elements. The sieve tube elements and companion cells are connected by pit fields present between their common longitudinal walls. The companion cells help in maintaining the pressure gradient in the sieve tubes. Phloem parenchyma. It is made up of elongated, tapering cylindrical cells which have dense cytoplasm and nucleus. The cell wall is composed of cellulose and has pits through which plasma desmetal connections exist between the cells. The phloem parenchyma stores food material and other substances like raisins, latex, and mucilage. Phloem parenchyma is absent in most of the monocotyledons. Phloem fibers. Bast fibers. These are made up of sclerenchymata cells. These are generally absent in the primary phloem but are found in the secondary phloem. These are much elongated, unbranched, and have pointed 
needle-like apices. The cell walls of phloem fibers is quite thick. At maturity, these fibers lose their protoplasm and become dead. Phloem fibers of jute, flax and hemp are used commercially. The first formed primary phloem consists of narrow sieve tubes and is referred to as protofloem and the later formed phloem has bigger sieve tubes and is referred to as metafloem.